Thank you. City week this week, Milwaukee, Chicago, Atlanta, doing a little planes, trains, and automobiles. We've got a really special guest this week. We're going to be talking to Joe Imhoff about his daughter who suffers from muscular dystrophy. And what can we do as colleagues, as co workers, as partners, as business people to help support our friends and co workers who have kids with special needs. So really looking forward to this conversation. I'm going to go work out. Good time. Excellent. Milwaukee. Has anybody seen Wayne's World? All right, fine. So I am in Milwaukee, Wisconsin today with one of my fellow international tax partners, Joe Imhoff. Hi, everyone. So, so Joe, tell me a little bit about your your daughter, sure. her condition, and and uh, her involvement with the MDA and Make a Wish. Uh, my, my daughter Regan has spinal muscular atrophy. It's a type of muscular dystrophy. It's one of the 43 diseases that are covered under the MDA umbrella. And so she has this disease. She was diagnosed when she was one. And could she's never been able to crawl, walk. She used a power wheelchair to get around. Um, it's it's just a physical disease, so so nothing mental. With Regan, you know, she she's an extremely social girl. Um, we we found or people have found that uh, spinal muscular atrophy. Uh, the the kids are a little more on the social side. Um, don't know if that's just their way to adapt and mm -hmm. overcome their the, you know their disease. Um, but it's a, a disease that has no treatment, no cure, until just recently, um, last December, there was a treatment for spinal muscular atrophy. Wow. And my daughter, Regan, is just in the early processes of getting, getting her injections that hopefully will help kind of turn and build, help her build the muscle mass that her body just doesn't, isn't able to do at the time. Is it still in trial phase or is it now available or how did she yeah. how did you find that treatment? Yeah, for her? it just got uh, uh, approved through the FDA. Okay. So which is exciting. I mean, we we've, we've been uh, helping raise funds with the Muscular Dystrophy Association for boy basically since she was <laughs> since she was diagnosed, so about the last 11 years. She's she's 12 years old now and you know, when we started the, the you know the the foray into raising money for the Muscular Dystrophy Association, we never had any expectation that we would find something or that there would be some treatment. You know, in her lifetime, we were you know essentially just raising funds to try to make sure that you know if we could prevent other families, other children from having to go through this disease. Boy, that you know that that was uh, that was really our goal, and you know now we're. Hopefully, reaping some of the benefits. We'll see how. Like I said, she's in the early stages of getting getting the treatment, so we'll we'll see how it goes. But and how did she get involved with the MDA, become the national ambassador? Because sure. that was really needed. I'll include a link below to uh, to some of the. There's a whole bunch of stuff on YouTube out there mm -hmm. um, where where she was highlighted as part of this the you know the the national MDA fundraising campaign. Sure. But how did she get involved with that and chosen? Because it seemed like she really enjoyed that. Yeah, she did. So so we we just got involved. Um, you know, we wanted to talk to families it's it's such a uh, you know rare disease that we, we reached out to try to find other people that had that so you know we could connect with them understand you know some of the things that we could do to help Regan and you know she just started getting involved wanted to um, do what she could for other kids you know that had spinal muscular atrophy and other other uh, types of muscular dystrophy and so you know we just got involved you know that's I think that's one of the, the main messages we have you know get involved talk to people um, you know there, there's a lot of help out there for um, children with special needs and you know we just wanted to get connected with people and so she she got connected and she's a very social girl and you know eventually 
through doing different national events, they just asked her to be the national spokesperson for the Muscular Dystrophy Association. So she did that for a couple years, um, danced and performed yeah. on the MTA telethon one year, um, had you know several other profile pieces, and she, she traveled around the country for uh, two full years as the national ambassador, probably 12 to 15 out-of-state trips a year, wow. you know, countless videos. So she was, uh, she was a real road warrior and would go and speak at different events and, and just try to raise awareness, um, and that's that's that was really one of our one of our main goals with um, trying to get the word out. You know, we we always encourage people to talk with us about it. Don't be afraid to you know if somebody has a difficult family situation or a child with special needs. You know, don't tiptoe around it. And we always found that it's you know better when when we're out and about and you see people kind of whispering, oh look, you know, there's the girl in the wheelchair to you know ask you know there's nothing wrong with come out coming up and saying you know what what, what you know what is what is your what are your challenges or, or you know what do you have you know we find that it's just that education really helps people understand that she's just not a girl in a wheelchair a wheelchair she's like any other 12 year old social and she just has physical limitations so make a wish is another fantastic organization that our family has gotten involved with um, i'm on the board here for the make a wish wisconsin chapter and regan actually just uh, went on her Make-A-Wish trip um, last last uh, December, and so she, her wish was to swim with the dolphins in Hawaii, ride a horse, and do a luau on the beach. And so, it, it, it's it, it, it was hard to describe just how Im how much of an impact wow. Make-A-Wish makes for kids like Regan, where you know they break down the barriers, they it, and it's shown that it really helps. It, it has a lot of therapeutic value for the children to, you know, strip those barriers away, give them something to look forward to, um, you know, with with their with their ailment, with their medical condition, and it, it, it was it was a life a life changing experience. And so, you know, now we just try to you know do what we can to help give other children with. Um, you know, life-threatening illnesses, you know, that type of experience. Other things that we can do, that I can do as a coworker to, to help you and your family? And you know, I've found people here at PwC just want to help. And if, if you don't have that communication, they don't know how to help. Right. And, you know, to have a, having that discussion, you know, I found that there's just a tremendous outpouring of support. And, you know, what, whether it's just acknowledgement that sometimes you know you may have to leave work whether it's doctor's appointments mm -hmm. whether it's you know she's sick and in the pick you for a month you know figuring out how to you know help out in other ways um, whether that's you know helping cover a client which I've had you know <laughs> early, especially early on when she yep. was sick you know having other partners step up and and other team members step up to you know help fill that void and make it a little easier at times and, and, and so communication is where I would start Doug. All right well if you're interested in donating links below the MDA Make-A-Wish Foundation Joe Imhoff international tax partner a real inspiration thanks for coming on the Doug McConey blog. <laughs> thanks Doug. So I'm back in the Chicago office today. What an inspiration that, that Joe M. Hoff is to, to, to me and, and should be to others. Working with people like that, that have families with special needs and just, you know, how successful Joe's been and growing our Milwaukee international tax practice and what a great partner and leader and mentor that, that Joe is. It's, it's really just an inspiration for me and to think about how he's able to balance work and family, you know, how you know they traveled all over the country raising money for other people is, is just awesome. It's just an inspiration. It's, we all need to remind our, ourselves that, that whatever we're doing, um, you know, should be put in perspective. I've got a lunch here. We've got a bunch of our new ITS hires. Let's uh let's go see uh let's go see some of the new hires. Welcome to the 
new International Tax Services Associates at Chicago. We look forward to a long and prosperous career. Really excited to have you guys. All right, so I'm in Atlanta this morning. Um, got a workout in, drinking some coffee. Heading over to the PwC office. An important thing for charitable giving, most employers have a charitable match. PwC certainly has a charitable match. So if you're thinking about giving, whether it's to make a wish or the ADA, look into whether your employer or somebody else that you're affiliated with has a charitable match because it's a great way to double the amount of the money that is given to the various charities. All right, I gotta head across the street and uh, got some client meetings today here in Atlanta.